What hast thou said? Forgive me if mine ears doth deceiveth me, doth confound the interpretation of reality that I do currently perceive to be the case. For my great grandfather, and I say unto thee that he was in fact great, I dare thee to deny it, but no, thou shalt not, not out of any sort of legitimate respect, but simply because thou art a blatant coward, did lose the hearing in his ear, nay, did lose the hearing in both of his ears by the unfortunate time of his truly tragic passing. Thus it is hypothetically possible that his condition has turned out to be hereditary and therefore passed on to me. Nonetheless, this is unlikely for such a, th for such a thing to be the case, as I am told by simple logic and common sense. Therefore, if I have presumed correctly that it is not so, the only other interpretation of the events which have just transpired that bears any claim to legitimate reality and truth is this. I have thou correctly, and thou truly hast called me... <sighs> I dare not say it. For it is a vile thing with which thou hast slandered my name. Thou hast called me an uncultured swine. Bartleby, be my friend, and I call thee such a thing only to maintain a certain level of respect which thou surely deservest not. I have this to say unto thee. Thou art an uncultured swine. Nay, thy face is an uncultured swine. I say it again, Bartleby, thy face is an uncultured swine. I could stop there, but I shall not, for my name is not only to reciprocate with an insult much greater than thine, but also to expose thee for what thou truly art. And that is a fool, a blithering fool. Thou art a fool, Bartleby, deny it not. Thou knowest it to be true. Thou hast compared me to an animal, and so I shall do the same for thee. Thou art a snake, Bartleby, reacheth into thy mouth using thine arm, which thou surely lacketh, being a snake. And fear thy fangs, and be ashamed that the shame envelop thee in its darkness, a darkness from which thou hast never slithered forth since the moment thou hast hatched from thy reptilian egg on that cold winter night all those years ago. Let justice strike thee down! Let a great bolt of lightning rip forth from the heavens and freeze thee in thy tracks! At which point thou shalt promptly enough assume the fetal position and begin to consider thy life choices up until the present moment and come to the harrowing conclusion that they have hitherto been stupid! Even profound so! <clears throat> I could say much, much more, but I shall not, for the few words which proceedeth sufficeth me. To put it simply, thou sucketh. Thou sucketh with the sucking of a thousand vacuum cleaners, which are themselves being thrashed about in a violent whirlpool, which sucks the already sucking vacuums deep down into the depths of misery, despair, anguish, and endless woe, depths in the which thou shalt soon enough join them. Now, like Civilized men, dost thou desireth to continue feasting upon this delectable roast pig, to whom I obviously bear no resemblance? Or dost thou wish to continue feasting upon the equally delectable truth?